Understanding solubility in water. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafford.com. When we mix some materials such as sugar, salt, lemon juice, vinegar, etc. in water, then they completely disappear in it. That is, they get completely dissolved in water. Watch ad free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. We say that material is soluble in water. Other materials such as sand, chalk powder, coconut oil, kerosene, etc., does not disappear in water, and thus these are insoluble in water. In this video lesson, we will understand more about solubility of substance in water. In general, a material that dissolves a substance in it is called solvent. The substance that is dissolved in solvent is called solute. The products are formed after dissolving solute and solvent is called solution. In a solution, usually solvent is in large quantity and solute is in smaller quantity. With respect to solubility in water, we have two important questions. How much amount of substance can be dissolved in fixed amount of water? And does water allow dissolution of substance in same amount? Let's find the solution of first question. For that, we will perform an activity. Take a beaker containing water, sufficient amount of sugar and a tablespoon. Take a tablespoon of sugar and dissolve it in water. After it dissolves completely, take another tablespoon of sugar and dissolve it. Repeat the activity continuously. After dissolving few tablespoons of sugar, you will notice that no more sugar can be dissolved in water. The sugar particles can be seen in the solution. Such a solution in which we cannot dissolve more amount of solute is called saturated solution. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn Fatafat Android app. Download the app now. Thus, we can dissolve a substance in water till the saturation is reached. This gives answer to our first question. There are ways to increase the solubility of water. One way to do so is by increasing the amount of water. But what if we don't have more water? In such case, we increase the temperature of the solution. Yes, by increasing temperature of solution, its solubility can be increased. This is the reason why your mother increased temperature of water and go on mixing sugar in it to make laddus for you. Similarly, while making sweets from milk and sugar, halwa also boils milk to mix more sugar. Let's now talk about second question. Does water allow dissolution of all substances in the same amount? Try dissolving different substances in water while counting the number of tablespoons of substances dissolved. You will notice that solution becomes saturated for different amounts of different substances. That means the amount of substance that can be dissolved in water are different for different substances. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Thanks for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe learnfordafford.com and press the bell icon to never miss an updates from learnfordafford.com.